Wizards, Wizards, Witches and Muggles, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are unboxing some more Pop Mart figurines, that's right, normally we unbox the Harry Potter ones but today is a little bit different because Pop Mart have very kindly sent me a brand new collection of theirs and these are the Disney classic fairy tales figurines, this is part of the Disney 100 range as well so I'm quite excited, Disney for me is very nostalgic, I used to be obsessed with Bambi as a child, I actually used to have a Bambi plushie and I went shopping with my mum like I was in my pram and I lost it never found it it was it was the first experience of heartbreak of my life also used to be obsessed with snow white as well but either way i'm pretty sure there is a bambi one of these which i'm really excited about but yes if you want to unbox all eight and discover what these are keep on watching and hey if you are brand new here firstly hello welcome don't forget that you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's go because we have got eight fairy tales to reveal okay first things first let's take a look at the packaging so yes these are to celebrate disney 100 and it's the disney classic fairy tales collection as we've said um the box is really cute it even says disney 100 on the top and then it does show you all eight that we can collect we've got patch from the 101 Dalmatians. We have got Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. We've got Marie, Pinocchio, Bambi, Donald Duck, Dumbo, and Stitch. So we've got some really cool characters to collect. Let's see who's going to be first. Oh, and they've also got the really satisfying pull tabs. I wish they went all the way to the end, though. Okay, <laughs> here we have it. Right, they are going to have spoiler cards, so I'm going to leave mine in there until we've opened it so you do get a proper mystery bag they're all gonna feel like fairy tale books so I don't think there's gonna be a way to find spoil it okay the first one we have is Pinocchio um, I'm really nervous to open it because I don't, I don't know what's gonna be inside but let's take a look at the book so they are all fairy tale books they've even got like the spine uh, telling you which fairy tale it is. Obviously, this is Disney's Pinocchio, and there is a little silhouette of him on the front as well. Um, so let's open it on up and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness! Oh, <laughs> this is so cute. Look! Oh, and it's next to like a little paint pot in the workshop. That's so, so cute. And, and yeah, it also has part of the fairy tale on here. It says, prove yourself brave, truthful and unselfish, and someday you will be a real boy. A real boy. Um, I love this. These are gorgeous. I love that they're little sets inside a book. Oh, that is so sweet. See, if they did like little Harry Potter book ones like these, I'd be all over it. Or even like man magical beasts out of like Newt's book, that'd be cute. Anyway, this is a Disney one today. So yes, we have Pinocchio in his really cute little hat and look, you can see his nose as well. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. The attention to detail is really, really nice. Like these displayed on like a shelf, like open or even displayed like that. And then you can take them out and have a little look at the Disney magic that's inside. That's so cute. Okay, this has got me very excited to see the other seven. But first things first, we have got one of the collection cards. So it says Disney classic fairy tales, Pinocchio. These are like the little collectible cards to show you which one is in each box. And just to turn it over to show you the Disney 100 logo on the back. Nice, a lovely start. Who have we got? Leave your guesses down below. And these are a really good size like thing as well for a, a mystery bag. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, we've got another brown book. Oh, we've got some plastic in here. I do believe we've got 101 Dalmatians patch. Let me just take this out. So here is the spine of the fairy tale book. Oh, I'm really excited to see this scene. It's going to be cute. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Why is it so cute? 
I would have loved these as a kid. I think what would have made them even more perfect would be if you could like move the characters, like take them out and these were their little homes. Like Polly Pockets, like these are giving hard Polly Pocket vibes. It says 101, little troublemakers stay pawsome. <laughs> Oh, it's got the little television. I love that they've included a curtain in there. Like, yeah, it's a really nice, like, set the scene. And behind Patch, there's actually a portrait of other Dalmatians that you can just about see in there. It's really, really cute. I really like these. What a, it's just made, it's making me happy. And I think life's all about that, isn't it? It's finding joy in little things. So this is the collectible card for Patch. Here we have it. Right, I'm gonna pick one at random. Okay, ooh, we have a pink one. We have a pink one. I have a feeling this might be Marie because I know that Marie's in here and it would fit her aesthetic. I was correct. <laughs> this is Marie. Um, the spine, you can just about see the print on there. Let's open it on up. I used to have a plushie of Marie. I'm not quite sure what happened to it though. <laughs> so it says, what a beautiful day. Bonjour Marie, perfect. Um, that is really cute. I love the mannequin. These are like 3D, this is gonna sound like really silly, but these are like 3D pictures. Like, it's like looking into a piece of artwork. It's got a piano in there as well, a little gift next to Marie. Uh, and she is looking absolutely adorable. I really like that one. I love that they've made the book colour fit the aesthetic of the character. I wasn't sure if they were all going to be brown because the first two of Pinocchio and Patch have been brown so far. But either way, that's a really, really cute one. <laughs> Let's take a look at Marie's card then. Here we have it. I feel like it would be really cute if they had facts on these cards that you get with Pop Mart. They tend to just be the pictures of what you've received in the mystery bag. But I think that would be really cool as fact cards. Number four is my lucky number. So let's see what's inside. I'm gonna laugh if this is Bambi. It won't be, but if it was, what color is it? Ooh, it's green. <sighs> Thank you, universe. I have moments like this all the time, guys, that my lucky number, it's lucky. I was just saying, imagine if it's Bambi and it's Bambi. Like this has happened so many times in these mystery videos. Like go back and watch some of the Pop Mart ones that I've opened. Cause I said, oh, number four, it's gonna be this. And then it is. Weird. Okay, this is the Bambi one. Um, and it's a beautiful moss forest green, which is appropriate for Bambi. And there is a little silhouette of Bambi on the front. Oh, this one's gonna be so cute. I can feel it. Okay, let's open it. This would be so cute if they lit up as well when you open the books. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, look. <laughs> it's a baby Bambi. Spunky as can be. Hey, yeah, Bambi, sweet as can be. Oh, with the sunflowers on a hill. Look, <laughs> with a butterfly on her tail. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. I'm glad we got that one for number four. That has given me good feelings for the day that I got that one as number four. I'm telling you, intuition and witchy magic and witchy feelings, it's a real thing. I love that one. That's gonna be my favorite. I already know that it's gonna be my favorite. Let's take a look at Bambi's card. And it's green. That's cool. Um, they have matched the colors of the cards. And there we have it. <laughs> That's so sweet. That little magic moment has honestly made my day. Right, number five. We've got four more, including this one. So who haven't we had? We haven't had Tinkerbell, Dumbo, Stitch, Donald Duck as well. Though I think it's also, I think it's Donald and Daisy. So it's, it won't just be Donald, but I don't know who this one is. We're about to find out. Okay. Gonna lol if it's Donald. Right, okay. We turn it over. It's Tinkerbell. Okay, we've got Tink on the front. We've got the spine. I love this purple. Purple's like a royal purple is one of my favorite colors. Okay, let's have a look at Tinkerbell. Oh, it's like a baby Tinkerbell. Oh, that's so cute. 
she's flying with her magic, she's got a key. They've actually got a real mirror in here. Like, you can see her in the reflection. That's so cool. Think of the happiest things. It's the same as having wings. <laughs> That's so sweet. I really like that. I love the magic. I love the colours. I love that there's a reflective mirror in there. Like, I gotta say, the details on Pop Mart figurines, they're very good. Here's Tink's card. Three left. Let's see who we've got then. I could open pull tabs all day. So satisfying. It's Donald Duck! We got Donald. This one's a really nice colour. It's not quite the same purple as Tinkerbell. It's more like a bluey purple. But it's really nice. I love Donald on the front. <laughs> it's got his little beak open. Um, and it says Donald Duck on the spine. But I'm pretty sure this one should have Daisy in there too. But I guess we'll find out when we open the fairy tale. Oh, he's just like serenading her. <laughs> Donald Duck since 1934. Donald Duck, what's the big idea? Quacking around. <laughs> Aww, I love his little top hat and he's playing a little guitar, or maybe it's, it might be a ukulele actually. And then Daisy's just living her best life on her little balcony and the moon is out. Oh, one of my core memories from last year was seeing Donald and Daisy on a balcony in Disney World Magic Kingdom and they just shook their tail feathers at us. It was a very nice moment. The collectible card as well, which is here. Oh, I love that one. Right, two left. Let's see which one this could be. So we're, we've got Stitch and Dumbo. Can I tell you a fact that may surprise you? I've never seen Lilo and Stitch. It's been on my to watch list for so long. And we've got Dumbo. <laughs> we've got a nice blue, got Dumbo on the spine. Okay, this one's gonna be cute. Are you ready? Oh, I really like this one. That one's so sweet. Oh, that one's so, so cute. It says, the very things that held you down are gonna carry you up and up and up. This one's so nice. It's like a little circus. Love that the curtains are at the front so it feels like you're really peeping into the tent. That one's really nice. Oh, this is making me want to have like a Disney marathon. I'm not going to lie. This is Dumbo's collectible card, which means we have Stitch as the last one. I think that's a sign for me to watch it ASAP. I need to get my myself onto Disney Plus. That feels heavy. Nice turquoise, good colour. There's a stitch on the spine. Here's the front. <laughs> okay, let's just move that. I feel like even though I've not watched Stitch, I know Stitch because there's so much Stitch merchandise and like gifts and stuff. Right. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, there's a fishy in a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> that might be my favorite bit. There's even a little starfish down here. But yes, Stitch is surfing a wave. That's really cool. It says, Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. I love that quote and I do know that quote, even though I've not seen it. And that makes me want to watch it even more. But yes, someone needs to tell me the story behind this little fish with a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> That's really cute. I really like that. Okay, let's take a look at all of the fairy tale books that we got today. Okay guys, this is the full collection of the Disney classic fairy tales figures from Pop Mart. I will leave the link down below if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself or maybe the full set if you would like the collection. I think these are so cute and they're really nicely made collectibles. Uh, I love the interactive element of them being in little fairy tale books like there are multiple ways to display these uh personally i think the spines would be super cute like that on a little bookshelf but obviously some people might want to display them open so that they can see the intricate detail of the actual figures themselves i think they're really cool i think it's a unique idea to have figures in books i just They've brought me a lot of joy, I've got to say. It has made me want to get onto my Disney Plus account and just binge all of the classics. 
starting with Lilo and Stitch. There's gonna be so many people in the comments that'll be like, how have you not seen that yet? I will make a promise to you, I will make a vow that I will watch Lilo and Stitch as my next Disney movie, okay? I promise, from me to you. <laughs> Anyway, if you got this far in the video, firstly, thank you so much. Secondly, if you liked this video and you'd perhaps like to see more like this in the future, then please do give this video a magical thumbs up. It's free, it's quick, and it helps my channel out, and it makes me understand what you do and you don't like. But yes, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget, you can leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to reply to as many of those as I can soon. I will see you soon. Bye! Oh, I still can't believe Bambi was number four. That's got to be magic, right? You can't tell me that that was anything other than magic.